Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Bing Yang Wu, a first year PhD student from Peking University. Today, I'm glad to share our work, Transparent GPU Sharing in Container Clouds for Deep Learning Workloads. This is joint work with Li Zhang, Xuan Zhe Liu, Xin, and Xin Jing from Peking University, Zhi Haobai from Johns Hopkins University. In recent years, deep learning is becoming popular. A wide spectrum of deep learning models are used in various fields, such as recommendation, machine translation, and voice assistant. Deep learning training jobs have become important workloads in data centers. Large enterprises build multi-tenant GPU clusters that are shared by many teams to train DL models. Users submit their DL training jobs with the GPU requirement, and then the service will allocate corresponding resources to those DL training jobs. Containers are often used to manage GPU resources and deploy DL training jobs in shared GPU clusters. Each deep learning training job run in a container. The main reason for using containers is to provide portability and isolation. A container is a standalone software package, including everything needed to run an application. A containerized application can run across various environments without any modifications. Such portability enables developers to use the tools and application stacks of their choice to develop and run their applications without worrying about deployment environments. Applications in different containers are isolated by using independent namespaces. A common problem in production GPU cluster is low GPU utilization. A recent study on a production GPU cluster by Microsoft showed that the mean GPU utilization is only 52%. Another measurement on a production GPU cluster at Alibaba shows even lower GPU utilization. The median GPU utilization uh, is no more than 10%. The low GPU utilization is bad for both container clouds and users. For container clouds, idle GPUs are a huge waste. For users, submitted jobs have to wait in the queue to be scheduled even when many GPUs are not fully utilized. The root cause of low GPU utilization is that each GPU is statically assigned to a single container. When GPU is allocated to a container, the container has exclusive access to the GPU which provides performance isolation for production jobs. But it means that other containers on the same machine cannot utilize the GPU when the GPU is underutilized or is even completely idle. It is a known problem in production GPU clusters. The problem can be addressed by sharing GPU to increase GPU utilization. In production environments, DO train jobs are typically classified into two classes, production jobs, which must run without much great performance degradation caused by other jobs, and opportunistic jobs, which utilize spare resources. It is natural to share GPUs between the two classes of jobs to improve GPU utilization. Yet, it is critical for production environments to ensure that the impact of GPU sharing on production jobs is minimized. GPU sharing solution can be realized at either the application layer or the OS layer. Antman is a state-of-the-art application layer solution. NVIDIA MPS and NVIDIA MIG are representative OS layer solutions. The primary drawback of application layer solution is that they are not transparent to users. They require significant modification to DL frameworks. In the case of Antman, it asks 4,000 lines of code to one single version of TensorFlow and 2,000 lines of code to one single version of PyTorch. These modifications are non-trivial. It requires tremendous engineering efforts if not possible, to support every version of every DL framework that users may use. Users are restricted to use the set of supported versions of given frameworks and have to wait for the integration if a newer version of particular DL framework comes. This approach loses the advantage of allowing users to use any tools and application stats to develop and run their applications in containers. NVIDIA MPS is an OS layer solution for GPU sharing provided by NVIDIA, MP, M, provided by NVIDIA. and PS only provides performance isolation for the computer resources of GPUs, which is done by setting the resource limit for each process. This is a static configuration that cannot be changed after starting a process. The resource limit is only for GPU computer resources, not for GPU memory resources. MPS requires the total GPU memory of the processes to be within GPU memory capacity. Another limitation of MPS is that it does not provide fault isolation. MPS merges the CUDA context of multiple processes into a single CUDA context to share the GPU. 
when process fails, it leaves the MPS runtime and other processes in an undefined state and may result in process harms, corruptions, or failures. NVIDIA Mix is another OS layer solution. Mix requires GPU hardware support and is currently only available on a few high end GPUs. Mix cannot arbitrarily partition a GPU based on application needs. For example, an application A100 a100 GPU can be participated into GPU instance with separate compute and memory resources for different DL train jobs. But MIG only provides seven fixed configurations for each GPU instance. And each GPU instance cannot use more than half of the GPU memory resources. Furthermore, it cannot dynamically change GPU resources owned by GPU instances if there are running jobs on the GPU, even if the GPU usage of a container changes. Reconfiguration of MIG can only happen when the GPU is idle. MIG also does not support memory of a subscription. To address this problem, we present TGS, a system that provides transparent GPU sharing to DL training in container clouds. Different from application layer solutions, TGS works as the OS layer beneath the containers and therefore is entirely transparent to users. Transparency is critical to container clouds as it allows users to use any version of any DL framework either a TensorFlow, PyTorch, or a custom uh, framework to develop models and run jobs in their containers. TGS leverages adaptive rate control and transparent unified memory to sim simultaneously achieve high GPU utilization and performance isolation. It ensures that production jobs are not greatly affected by opportunistic jobs on shared GPUs. It realizes the benefits of application layer solutions as the OS layer without the limitation of existing OS layer solutions. The core of TGS is a lightweight interaction layer between containers and GPUs. It intercepts the system core from containers to GPUs and regulates the GPU resources usage for concurrent jobs. Containers and applications are unaware of TGS. The processes in the container issue GPU kernels, that is, function executed on the GPU to the GPU as they do with a dedicated GPU. TGS intercepts the system core from containers to GPUs and regulates the GPU resource usage for concurrent jobs by using rate monitor, rate control, and unified memory. The first challenge is to share GPU compute resources between containers adapted without application knowledge. Inaccurately setting resource limits for each container would either degrade job performance or leave resources unused. A, a throw my solution is a priority scheduling. It intercepts the GPU kernels from containers and puts them into a production queue and an opportunistic job queue based on the priority of the job. The kernel is in the opportunistic queue are only scheduled to the GPU when the production queue is empty. However, this solution is not suitable for GPU sharing. An empty production queue for GPU jobs does not mean production jobs are not using the GPU. The GPU kernel scheduled in the past may still be running on the GPU while the production queue is empty. Similarly, an empty queue also cannot tell how many resources is left on the GPU. To avoid this problem, TGS uses an adaptive rate control approach. The main idea is to carefully control the decreasing rate of the kernels in the opportunistic queue based on the kernel arrival rate, so that the opportunity job can use up the remaining computation resources without greatly affecting the production job. The insight is that a DL training job is usually iterative each iteration often uses the same compute graph to perform training on the GPU at nearly the same rate. If the DL training is slowed down, the kernel are finished slower, then the dependencies are satisfied slower, and the kernel arrival rate drops. When the rate monitor detects the rate of production jobs change, rate control of TGS uses an AIMD method to reduce the kernel decreasing rate of opportunistic jobs. The second challenge is to enable transparent GPU memory over subscription as an OS layer. When jobs share a sh GPU, the GPU memory may be not sufficient. If directly passing all the GPU memory allocation cores to the GPU, it may cause auto-memory errors. Another limitation of this solution is that it does not consider the characteristics of DL frameworks. When starting a job, some DL frameworks, such as TensorFlow, claim all the available GPU memory, even if the training jobs does not request that much memory. Application layer solutions can directly modify DL frameworks to obtain the GPU memory usage of training jobs and release unused GPU memory back to the GPU. However, to design a transparent OS layer solution, modification on DL frameworks or applications are not allowed. To solve this challenge, 
TGCS uses CUDA unified memory allocation as an indirection layer uh, of GPU memory allocation as a result. When a GPU virtual address is allocated to a containers, it may be translated to either GPU memory or host memory. When the DL framework claims all the available GPU memory, TGS only allocates the requested virtual memory from the CUDA unified me memory space. The actually used memory would trigger GPU page force and be swapped to the GPU memory when it is used for the first time. When the GPU memory is full, TGS tries to place the blocks of production jobs in the GPU memory and evict the blocks of opportunist jobs to the host memory if necessary. This is transparent to the containers, as the containers still use the same virtual memory addresses to access their allocated memory space. The virtual memory addresses are translated to physical memory addresses at different locations. With this design, we implement, implemented a prototype of TGS with, uh, with about 3,000 lines of code and integrated it with Docker. Our evaluation is performed on a server with two NVIDIA A100 GPUs and uh, an AWS instance with one NVIDIA V100 GPU. We use the real-world traces from Microsoft and seven mixed popular DL models. To demonstrate the benefits of TGS, we compare the six mechanisms in the experiments, including TGS, Ant-Man, MPS, Mix, Exclusive, and Co-Execution. For MPS and Mix, we manually set the appropriate limit or best configuration. Exclusive provides each job exclusive access to a GPU. Co-Execution shares a GPU between jobs without any control. We first compare TGS with Exclusive and Co-Execution when sharing a GPU between a mixed workload job stream. The job stream contain, contains 50 production jobs and 50 opportunist jobs. For fair comparison, we normalize the job completion time of each mechanism to that of exclusive for each job. <coughs> because TGS allows opportunist job using remaining GPU resources, TGS reduces the average normalized JCT of opportunist job by 52% compared to exclusive. Because TGS provides production jobs with performance isolation, TGS reduces the average normalized JCT of production jobs by 21% compared to co-execution. We also compare TGS with the SOTA application layer solution and MAN in both the low contention scenario and the high contention scenario. The experiment result shows that although ant -Man uses application layer knowledge, TGS still achieves similar performance to ant -Man and is transparent to DL training jobs. To show the benefit of adaptive rate control approach, we conduct experiments when the total required GPU memory does not exceed the GPU memory capacity. The experiments show that TGS can protect the production job with little overhead while providing remaining GPU resources to the op opportunities job under different scenarios of resource contention. To show the benefit of transparent unified memory of TGS, we also conduct experiments when the total required GPU memory exceeds the GPU memory capacity. Because TGS prioritizes the memory allocation from different jobs to prevent contention, the experiments show that TGS can achieve 15, 15 times throughput improvement for the opportunist job compared to MPS. Our paper has many more experiments, including system overhead, convergence of TGS in different scenarios, supporting different DL frameworks, and GPU sharing for large model training. To conclude, TGS is a system that provides transparent GPU sharing to DL training jobs in container clouds with four important pro properties, transparency, performance isolation, high GPU utilization, and fault isolation. Evaluation shows that TGS provides similar throughput as a state-of-the-art application layer solution and improves throughput of the opportunity job by up to 15 times compared to the existing OS layer solution MPS. Thanks for listening. <laughs>